Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for interior designers and architects. And if you are new to my channel, subscribe to get my weekly tutorials on AutoCAD. In this video, I will show you how to choose a paper size for your drawing or project in AutoCAD. Uh, to do that, we will need to head to a layout. And basically here, I already have layout set up, so I will create a new one. And this project that I'm using here is actually a project I did before. It's a, it's a finished floor plan. You can actually get it from my Patreon page, and I'll leave you a link in the description box if you want to join. All right? So from the layout here, back to the back to setting up the paper size, I will go here to layout. So this one is set up. This one I think I didn't set up. Let's just start a new layout. I'm going to click on the plus sign right here, and I will go there. And then from here, I have the viewport. And you can see more about the viewport. Uh, talking about it in a different video. I'll leave you the link. Uh, you can click above to see it pretty much. Okay, so what I will do, I'll activate the viewport and I will choose the scale. Let's say 1 8 for now. So now the drawing is scaled. And then now if I want to change the page setup or the page size or the paper size, what you need to do is go to a layout and then from here right click on it and then choose page setup manager. Okay, and this should give us this window. And then from here, I'm going to do modify. And then I'm choosing the layout and then I'm going to modify it. And I'm going to tell this one first to choose, I'm going to choose the printer to be DWG to PDF. This is the most common used one. And when you change to this printer uh, setting, you will get all the paper sizes, all the most common paper sizes for architecture and interior design. And in this case, in this video, I want to show you how to choose uh, the 36 by 24 inch paper. Okay, so what I will, what I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find the one called Arc Full Bleed D right here, and you see it says 24 by 36 inches, or the same here, you can choose the one that starts with 36 by 24. You'll get the same result because anyway, you can choose the orientation from here for your drawing. Okay, and the last step I will do here, I'll just change the plot style to monochrome, so I see my drawing in black and white. And then I will hit on the OK button. Okay. And then this page setup manager, I can close it. And here you go. Now you see our paper uh, in 36 by 24. Uh, we can't necessarily see it, but the paper basically grew from the original size it was at from 8.5 by 11. And then from here, I will resize the viewport. I will move it a little bit more to the center of the drawing. I will double click inside to activate the viewport, zoom into my plan. And then from here, I'll choose a different scale. Let's say quarter scale. And here we go. This is good to go. I'm going to click outside. And then I'll go to the printing window right now. And then from here, click preview to see the final result. And here you go. This is what you should get pretty much. And if you have a title block, I'll just show you another example. Click cancel here. I'll go to layout one. So here I have a title block. I'll also leave you a link if you want to get this block for free, this title block. So when you insert the title block and you have the viewport ready and everything good with the scale, now let's do another print preview. Click on the print button here, preview. So this is, should be the final result pretty much. This is how it should look like. And you see here, I don't see the viewport border and that's because I'm setting it on the def points layer. So just make sure to select the viewport and then switch the layer to def points. And that will basically make it uh, not print pretty much or not plot and that will only show you the floor plan, okay? And that was it about setting up the paper size in AutoCAD.